Hey there. So the latest Ask Amy video is what are the first steps to incorporate? So today in this video, I'm going to go through four of the steps you need to take in order to incorporate your business in Canada. And keep in mind in Canada, you can incorporate provincially or you can incorporate federally. And regardless of what you choose, each jurisdiction has a few different requirements to it. So you need to really look into your jurisdiction's uh, rules and requirements. And also this video is just for legal information only. It's not legal advice. So let's get down to it. First, the first step you want to take in order to incorporate your business is you want to name your corporation. So this sounds fairly straightforward, but keep in mind each jurisdiction has different nuances to it. So for example, let's say you wanted to use a word name for your business rather than a numbered entity. So say you wanted to name your business Amazing Amy's Bakery. So what you need to do is you need to complete a name search and you need to look at the results to ensure that there are no other entities out there with an identical or a similar name to yours. So in this case, it's the name is um, that there are no other amazing Amy's bakery out there, nothing identical or similar to that one. So once you have your name, um, the jurisdiction is going to need to review and they also will approve your proposed corporate name. So that means that you might want to come up with a few different options in case your first choice is already taken. Second, the second step is to create your Articles of Incorporation. And your Articles of Incorporation are going to establish the structure of your corporation. They have, <laughs> they have specific requirements depending on your jurisdiction, and a lawyer can always help you to tailor those articles um, to suit your business's needs as well. So that's where the advice of a lawyer can be very helpful for um, setting up your business. The third step is to establish the initial registered office address as well as the first board of directors. So all corporations are required to have a registered office address where their corporate records must be kept. And this is also where official documents will be served to the corporation. So make sure you come up with um, an an address for that and you're also going to need to decide who is going to make up your initial board of directors and each jurisdiction is going to have different requirements for the directors so you have to make sure that the directors that you've chosen meet those different eligibility requirements and once you've incorporated you're going to disclose information about each director you're going to disclose their first and last name their address and also whether they are a resident Canadian. All of this information about your directors will be publicly available once you have incorporated your business. And the final step is to submit and pay your fees. And once again, this process is going to vary depending on the jurisdiction you're filing under. If you are um, registering as a federal corporation, you can pay your fees online. And um, information on federal incorporations can be found at www.ic.gc.ca. So there you have it. Those are the four steps. I hope that you um, find this helpful. And if you do need further advice or you have a quick question, feel free to reach out to Good Lawyer and one of our lawyers can help you out on that.